from Indy's streaming news leader. This is a WRTV update. Good afternoon, I'm Lauren Casey with your top stories. Two juveniles are heard after a shooting in Lawrence. Police say officers found both victims around 930 this morning on North Hartman Drive. That's near East 46th Street and I-465. According to Lawrence Police, both juvenile males said that they were walking on Richard Avenue when someone in a vehicle fired shots at them. Police tell us one of the victims was shot in the leg, the other in the shoulder. Police say both were stable when taken to the hospital. Election Day is about a month away, and one of the biggest races on the ballot locally is the race for Marion County Prosecutor. Be sure to join us tomorrow for a Democracy 2022 special on WRTV, the debate between incumbent prosecutor Ryan Mears and his challenger Cindy Carrasco. The debate airs at 7 o'clock tomorrow night only on WRTV. Members of Indiana Task Force One are back on their way home to the Hoosier State right now. They've spent the last week and a half in southwest Florida to help with rescue and recovery efforts following Hurricane Ian. The team spent a lot of time in the area of Fort Myers and Fort Myers Beach. Those are two spots that received major damage. Task Force One had many jobs down there, including home to home, going home to home rather, to make sure that everyone got out okay. The team helped with recovery efforts in Florida since October 1st. Time now for a check of our forecast with Todd Claus and hey Todd. All right, lots of sunshine here today. Temperatures going into the mid 70s for your afternoon highs. Uh, today's the best weather day of the, the week as some changes will arrive as we head into the day tomorrow. One of those changes a little more in the way of cloud cover and as a result, your Tuesday is a little cooler with highs that'll be in the upper 60s to right around 70 degrees. Late Tuesday, some spotty showers move in and the better rain chances though will be off and on throughout the day on Wednesday as a cold front makes its way through the area. Todd, thanks for more stories and weather you need to know. Just download the WRTV mobile app. Thanks for joining us.